Hey guys, it's Riptide Firebender, and I am back with another tutorial. I know it's been a long time, but um, I am doing a tutorial today on how I do my fake freckles for cosplay. Now, this can be used for Ymir from Attack on Titan, which is what I mostly use this for. Or I've recently been using it for Talia Grace from the Percy Jackson series. So, yeah. Um, I will give a little disclaimer. I do use two different techniques. One technique is the more realistic looking one in person. So this is the one that you're going to want to use for conventions only if you're not like, if you're just doing like interactions and stuff, like, I guess. Um, and these, this one is going to look a little more on the comical side. I will give it that so um this half of the face is gonna be the one you're gonna want to use for conventions which it's more real look it's more realistic looking in real life this side is more realistic looking in pictures and my camera's out of focus <laughs> Yeah, so this side of the face is more realistic in pictures, but the coloration of it is not accurate so it would be something for pictures so the, keep in mind this side of the face will be used for conventions the convention look and this side is going to be used for the picture look <laughs> all right so first things first what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get your base makeup on so Go ahead and do that right now. Get your base makeup on. If you're wanting to use this tutorial for Ymir, I do have a video for my Ymir makeup look. I'll put it like up here, but you can find that one if you want to follow it. All right, so now that I've got my base makeup on, we're going to start with the side that we're going to do the convention freckles on. So um, here I've got a kind of dark brown all right sorry about that um i heard a noise outside and that was weird anyways back to what i was saying you don't want to take like a like a brownish color for this and like an angled eyeliner brush um just me it's brown it just doesn't look brown in this picture just like put it on the tip and then like swirl it a little bit and sometimes you can get away with like using in the same just like dotting a little bit and then using it multiple times and so you're just gonna want to put it randomly and like that's really all that there is to this method and like I said earlier it's more of a natural look for if you're gonna go to like conventions and you're not doing skits at the convention um, or for just like personal use I this is the method I've been using the longest so I like I can definitely vouch for this method that it works so yeah um, I'm just gonna wanna keep on Putting it on, not much I can really say there. Self-explanatory. Oh yeah, and you can put some on your nose, but I'm gonna avoid putting too much on my nose right now for this sole fact that I'm gonna do this side of my face a different style. So yeah, um, add as much freckles as you want. Just, you know, don't add too much. You'll know when too much is too much. But yeah. All right, and now for the picture side or the side that you can also use for skits. At conventions, I've never done one before, but you can use them for skits if you're gonna be on stage. Um, taking a like black eyeliner and basically just like make a dot and then Tap it around a little bit. It works if you do bigger 
and then it's like mostly tapping it out. This one looks a little more natural on camera, I say. Mainly like if you're taking pictures because I don't know. Usually, mm, I don't know if I have the right eyeliner, but it blots out a little bit and you can kind of like, you can do smaller ones and then you can do bigger ones. Like you can vary in size. I usually like pat it out a little bit too. You can add a little bit of powder over it too. But um, you could probably also use this for con this for conventions if you had um if you had a brown. But I don't have a brown on me, so but yeah, we're basically just dotting like we did on this side. I say this looks more natural mainly because you can just like. You can, you can spread it around a little more easier because it's liquid. Um, if you had a more liquidier eyeliner, because you know, this is not working the way I want it to at all. If you had a more liquidier eyeliner, it would definitely spread around. Um, I like this because you can control the size of the freckles you're doing a lot more easier than on this side. But, um... From here, you can kind of get the gist of what I'm saying of why this side is more natural for, you know, going to conventions and why this side's more natural for pictures because when you're going to be taking those pictures, you're going to want it to stand out a little more, especially from like far away distances. But yeah. Um, make sure you do your nose. Hey. I, again, I'm not doing my nose because I am, I have two different sides of my face and stuff. But yeah, this is basically it. Um, Alright guys, this is the end of my tutorial. Um, These are the two completed uh, looks. Um, tell me if you ever use it. Um, I will be providing links to my cosplay Instagram in the description box below. Wow, this is not focusing at all. Um, yeah, you can find my cosplay page in the description box below. And yeah, I have not done this outro in forever. So, um, <laughs> so nostalgic. Stay hot, stay flame, and remember what I'm <laughs>